After I was born, about two months after, my father died. And then after my father died, my mother kind of was out of the picture. And I was in foster care for about three years, thrown from house to house, and about nine years old, actually. I was adopted. I run the Olympic distance triathlon, which is a one mile swim. Go Josh! Go Josh! And then you 25 mile bike and a six mile run all together. Not that many people compete at the level that I compete at now. When I am competing in a triathlon and I get to the point where I hit the wall, many things run through my mind, but the number one thing that runs through my mind is God, knowing that God is with me. It's really helpful. I use Philippians 4.13. I can do all through Christ who strengthens me, and that's a good way I get through my triathlons. I work with Josh as his triathlon coach. Josh is an excellent competitor. You get him to the start line, and you can count on this kid given everything that he's got. I keep a 3.0 average. Most of the time it can get hard. Josh is a great student, highly academically proficient, very high test scores. One of Josh's greatest assets is definitely the fact that he's driven. He's determined to do well in anything that I set forward for him. My most difficult challenge for me to overcome is knowing that I was stripped of my early childhood before I was adopted. I never got the simple joy of playing in the dirt or getting dirty. I always was treated poorly. I have to deal with anger and emotions that my family has left me with because I felt so abandoned. And I thought of all the other, other boys that were growing up with their father. It just got real emotional, missing that father that I needed in my life. Josh goes through a lot of struggles and, well, I just see him like overcome these obstacles very easily and I know he's like very close to God and um, he, he just incorporates that in his life. and. I just like how he um, helps other people do the same thing. Even though he, he has gone through this, he knows that to be great, you have to try hard and be the best person you can be. And that's, that's basically what he does every day. Even though what was done to me, I have to look forward to knowing what God has in store for me ahead. And I know he has a bright plan for me. I would have never gotten through all this without two people. Number one, God, and number two, my mom. And God is definitely something we all need in our lives. And He has taken me on the road that He needs me on. My advice to kids who are struggling is that it's not what has been done to you in the past, it's how you look at your life in the future and how you make it and knowing that God has a plan for you. Subscribe to our channel, The Real Winning Edge, now on YouTube. You can see more inspirational videos like this.